Hey guys, uh, so I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough of how to uh, use uh, an API um, to dynamically search for things. Um, and the way that this is a little bit different is uh, typically uh, you would pass the parameters um, in, in Adalo, you would pass these parameters um, in, the, in the beginning here. So let me just go ahead and get logged in here. Um, I have a testing app here that I'm, that I'm using. Um, if I want to add um, a database to connect to an a API, I would just go down here to the add collection, of course, and then I'm just going to name this one images. Um, and the way that this works a little bit different is uh, you typically declare here, you know, your headers and your query parameters. The problem with this is that most dynamic search engines um, is that you have to actually pass the query at the point um, you know when you're requesting for it um, and if I'm searching for a specific item I want the user to be able to input that data and search for it rather than having to put it in here um, the problem is that with Adalo is that um, in order to get past this third step this test connection it has to receive at least one result um, well to get a result I have to search for something so we're kind of stuck in this catch-22 where I can't get past the test without passing a search. So what we need is an API that will let us pass a query or a search term um, after, um, as a filter in Adalo after we've set up the, the API. Um, and so for, for I've searched lots of different image APIs and the one that actually works the best, although probably not the best, um, it's not the best service to use, I would say, but um, Pixabay is actually a pretty good one, and they have very generous limits on how many requests you can make. Um, so that's what we're, that's what I'm going to go over, um, and that's what we'll look at. Um, really, this is very easy to set up. Um, the first thing that you want to do is go to pixabay.com and create an account. It's free; doesn't cost anything. Um, and then once you've created an account, you can actually just go to um, actually, I usually have to do a search, but I think it's uh, pixabay.com slash api slash docs. pixabay.com slash api slash docs. And when you scroll down here, you will see, um, if you've logged in, you will see your API key here. And that is the only parameter that's required. And that's good. Um, because that means that we don't have to pass a search parameter in order to get past the API setup in Adalo. We can pass this query parameter later um, when our user actually types something in, um, which is really, really good. So uh, I'm just going to take this API key. I'm blocking it out so that nobody uh, jumps into my API here. I'm going to go back to Adalo, and this, actually, let me, let me just copy this uh, API base URL. So this is the base URL right here, this HTTPS, this uh, API URL here. So I'm going to pass this as a query. And just like it said in the parameter there, there the name of the, of the parameter is just key. And this is going to be my, um, oops, this is going to be my API key that I'm going to pass. Now, it should be said this is not the most secure method because your key will be visible to any logs and things like that, but um, this is really the only image search. Now there's other ones, there's other search engines out there that you can actually search for like news and things like that, um, but this is the only image one, which is actually really hard to find. It's really hard to find one that has, um, that lets you pass the query parameter you know, to get all of the images first and then filter them based off of a off of a um, a parameter. So for the endpoints, we're going to choose get all, and then uh, this is going to stay the same. The results key for uh, Pixabay, at least, is called hits. So we're getting hits off of our search, I guess. So we're going to leave it there. Um, I'm going to hit next, and then we're going to run the test. And you see, it gives me 500 results. The test was successful, and there's like, now I've, I've got it set so that it only shows me 20 at a time on one page. Um, I think that's by default. Uh, but we'll go ahead and create the collection. And the next thing that I'm going to do uh, is I want to create a search uh, bar here 
a text input for people to, to search with. Um, and basically, this is not uh, generated dynamically, I don't think. I haven't really played around too much with that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to put um, a text bar here, and we're going to create the list, the results list, on the next page. So I'm going to add a, let's see, a form and a field here. We'll do a text input. And then we're going to add a button to search. We'll call this uh, search. And maybe we'll change it to like a search icon. There we go. And we'll name this uh, search field. OK. And um, so now that I've got this, I'm going to create another screen here. Just do an app bar screen. Call it results, but this can obviously be, you can set this up pretty much any way you like. And then I'm going to add a custom list. Now this has to be a custom list or this is not going to work. Um, oops, that's a, uh, that's a screen. So we're going to add a component a list and then a custom list. Okay. So now this, it's going to ask, what is this a list of? It's a list of images, which is our external API collection that we had. And then um, I'm go actually going to link this button now that I have this page here. So I'm going to add an action to link to the results. That's fine. And then this list is going to be filtered such that the queue, just like we have in the API documentation, this queue here, which is a URL encoded search term, which now this, don't worry about the plus because Adalo does this for you. Um, if it needs to be encoded, um, like if there's a space in the user search term, Adalo will pick that up and actually put the plus sign in there for you. So we're just going to name it Q, just like it says, and then the value is going to be dynamic based off of whatever's in this field. Um, so we're just going to go to More, Form Inputs, All Screens, Home, Search Field. And we're going to click Done. So now um, what we've got to do is determine what's going to appear in this list. Um, and since we're doing dealing with images, I'm actually going to, oops, I'm actually going to put um, some images in this so that we can see them into this list here. Make it a little bit smaller. And you could make this into like a grid or you know whatever you want it to do. Um, now, to, in order to see these images, what we'll have to do is go to the URL, make it a URL. We don't want to go to a, a database. We want to go to a URL and then set the URL to be the current um, the current images web format URL. This is going to produce a, a kind of a medium size image. If we do large format um, URL, it's going to try and bring in like you know 2,000 by 3,000 pixel images, and that's just too much for a mobile view. Um, so I'm just going to choose web format URL here. And um, now that we've got that set, um, you can set a placeholder if you want to. I'm not going to worry about that. Um, and then I'm going to actually show the full image instead of cropping it. Actually, well, uh, yeah, let's crop it. Be fine. All right, so let's preview this. I don't think I've actually signed up for this app yet, so we're going to check it out and see what it looks like. Um, I'll have to actually create create something here. Actually, I think I can do like I saw somebody do this uh, do this earlier, dude. Dude and dude. Nice. All right. So now let's search for uh, like horses or something. I don't know. So you can see now it's dynamically pulling in data based off of what I've searched for. All right. Whew, that was a long one. Sorry, I tried to keep it short, but hopefully that's helpful for you. Each API is different, but that's the Pixabay API. Um, it's super helpful. It gives your users the ability to search for images and then click on them and use them. Um, you can build that functionality in as well um, and use that image URL basically wherever they want. 
So if they're trying to find a cover photo but they don't want to upload something, just have them search for free images on Pixabay. Um, that said, the Pixabay documentation, um, as far as rate limits are concerned, it says you can make up to 5,000 requests per hour. Like, that's an insane amount. Um, and Pixabay is good because they have lots of really high quality images um, to use, and um, there's no rate limit. So I hope this was helpful. If you have questions, I'm not an expert on APIs, but I'll, I'll do my best to help um, as much as I can.